Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss some important facts related to the life and works of English writer Robert Browning. Introduction. Robert Browning was a Victorian era English poet known for his distinctive style, dramatic monologues, and exploration of complex psychological and moral themes. He is considered one of the most influential poets of the 19th century and is noted for his innovative use of narrative and character voice. Browning's poetry often delves into the intricacies of human nature, love, art, and the moral ambiguities of the human condition. Early Life and Education Robert Browning was born on May 7, 1812 in Camberwell, a suburb of London. He came from a cultured and middle-class family. His father, Robert Browning Sr., was a bank clerk and his mother, Sarah Anna Viedman Browning, was a talented pianist. Browning's early exposure to literature and music greatly influenced his artistic sensibilities. Browning received a classical education at home, which exposed him to the works of Shakespeare, Milton, and the Romantic poets. He was a precocious child and began writing poems at an early age. His love for literature and poetry continued to grow as he matured. Career and Major Works Pauline, A Fragment of a Confession Browning's first published work, Pauline, was a long poem that explored themes of self-examination, love, and poetic aspiration. While it received little attention at the time, it hinted at the themes and style that would define his later works. Paracelsus This dramatic monologue in verse marked Browning's emergence as a significant poet. It tells the story of the Renaissance physician and alchemist Paracelsus and explores the tension between spiritual and worldly pursuits. Sordello Sordello is a dense and ambitious narrative poem set in medieval Italy. Its complexity and obscurity puzzled many readers and critics, leading to mixed reviews. However, it exemplified Browning's experimentation with narrative and character voice. Dramatic Lyrics This collection included My Last Duchess, The Pied Piper of Hamelin, both of which are among Browning's most famous and frequently anthologized poems. My Last Duchess is a dramatic monologue in which a Renaissance duke reveals his possessive and controlling nature, while The Pied Piper is a whimsical and darkly humorous narrative. Men and Women This collection featured a series of dramatic monologues that showcased Browning's mastery of the form. Notable poems from this collection include Fra Lippo Lippi, Andrea del Sarto, and The Bishop Orders His Tomb at St. Prague's Church. The Ring and the Book This epic poem is one of Browning's most ambitious works. It tells the story of a murder trial in 17th century Italy from multiple perspectives, offering a complex and morally nuanced exploration of truth justice, and human motivation. Legacy Robert Browning's poetry was characterized by its psychological insight, use of dramatic monologues, and exploration of the moral and ethical dilemmas of his characters. His innovative approach to narrative and character voice influenced later poets such as T.S. Eliot and Ezra Pound, who admired his use of language and the dramatic form. While Browning's work was not universally acclaimed during his lifetime, he eventually gained recognition as one of the leading poets of the Victorian era. His poetry remains widely studied and admired for its intellectual depth, exploration of human psychology, and distinctive style. Browning's themes of love, art, and morality, and the complexities of human experience continue to resonate with readers and scholars. His influence on the development of modern poetry, especially in the use of the dramatic monologue, solidifies his place in the canon of English literature. So this was the discussion 
about some important facts related to the life and works of Robert Browning. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other author. Until then, goodbye and thank you.